Can you please give a huge round of applause for Bat Roland, ladies and gentlemen? notes here. Um, it's based on the holy trinity of the analogue drum pad, this squelchy bass line and bearded geeks in bedroom studios. This is the gospel according to Aphex Twin. Thank you. Um, to understand this gospel you need to go back to the prophets. Uh, the BBC Radiophonic Workshop uh, who were working with George Martin before he became that bloke to do with the Beatles. Now who, who knows what the BBC Radiophonic Workshop is most well known for? Doctor Who theme tune, absolutely right. And uh, Ron Granger's notes to them were, contained annotations like swoops and wind bubbles. It really was uh, a fantastic new sound. In the beginning also there were hippie-haired <coughs> men in sandals. Some of Pink Floyd's more uh, experimental stuff uh, was as close to techno as you're ever going to get. And uh, I've not got time to go into this now, but the Beatles really do provide the missing link between skiffle and the Chemical Brothers coming after me afterwards. <laughs> um, in, the, in the beginning also you had the Puritans, craft work, who were clean and clinical, who stood there on their podiums giving sermons about wild ideas, like pocket calculators and auto barns. But I'm, I'm talking about uh, modern electronic music. Um, in the 80s, uh, a lot of electronic music was go about going out, getting dressed up and going dancing. Uh, so you had a new wave, hip-hop, rave, um, but this is about uh, what happened after that. Uh, when the musical missionaries brought uh, Detroit uh, house music over to uh, Europe, it became something different. Uh, we know it as uh, electronica or intelligent dance music, uh, armchair techno, or my favourite, brain dance. Uh, so you had, you had people like LFO who uh, did this really ordered kind of uh, warehouse techno, made Kraftwerk look like a free jazz band. Um, they were cold and ordered and looming. You know the feeling when you get when the one show's about to come on? It's that kind of <laughs> feel. They brought techno kicking and screaming uh, from the dance floor into the pizza box strewn living room of the ravers. So this whole group of band gave us these new scriptures to follow. Um, the Artificial Intelligence series of CDs uh, was a brilliant stuff. Their record label described it as you could sit down and listen to it like you would a Kraftwerk or a Pink Floyd album. This was radical for that time. It really hadn't been done before, although that manifesto was later used to excuse trip-hop, which is wrong. Um, <laughs> you had Aphex Twins, Selected Ambient Works, 85 to 92, our, our bedraggled poster boy of uh, tonight. Uh, and on, on that album, it's a beautiful album. On that album, there was a sample from the uh, Charlie Chocolate Factory film, the one with Gene Wilder. Uh, we are the music makers, we are the dreamer, uh, dreamers of dreams. And uh, for me, that was inspirational. It was like the Martin Luther King of electronic music. An Orbital Brown album called because it didn't have a title. It was their second album, which was so unifying and so uplifting that if you go to an Orbital gig now, it's like they're the early hymn writers and people are all raising their arms in, in unity and in worship. NME called Orbital's second album as warm as plasma and as eerie as exoplasm. And incidentally, I wasn't sure how to fit this in. Orbital are named after the M25, and I wanted to do a section based on bands named after roadways. I, I've only got the streets, <laughs> Duran Duran's Nick Rhodes, <laughs> and Muse. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, so what are the beliefs of the Gospel according to Aphex Twin? Salvation can be found in experimentation. Uh, we will encourage you to, to question and to challenge. Uh, so we've got Flying Lotus paying tribute to Alice Coltrane in his new album. Uh, Bjork has been working with techno pioneers for most of her career. Salvation can be found in repetition, that hot chip refrain of the joy of repetition is within you. Um, repetition in this religion is not uh, essential, but it helps you reach a, a new, higher state of consciousness. 
all and make people collapse. Um, <laughs> and also, repetition is, is um, it, it's a political thing also. A, a previous government uh, tried to make repetitive beats illegal. The, some of you might remember the criminal justice bill was a big thing. And the repetitive beats uh, technically became illegal, but it became law. Uh, fighting it was a bit like banging your head against a brick wall. Uh, continuously and ironically. <laughs> <laughs> Salvation can also be found in staying underground. Uh, so it's easier for me, for example, to fit through the eye of the needle than it is for Electronica to get into the singles chart. It just doesn't happen. All tech, who are the purists and Mancunian purists of, uh, of techno music, um, they're willfully obscure. Uh, on my, uh, I run a website on the electronic music, and for a while I had a thing called Chart Watch where uh, I would track the progress week by week of electronic acts in the singles chart. It wasn't very successful, and I've, I've got a few of the uh, few of the entries here. No new electronica in the singles chart. <laughs> Still no new electronica in the singles chart. Simply rev in the top forty. I'm off for a cry. So it didn't really, <laughs> really, really, really work. Speaking of simply rev. Um, it brings me to the one unforg unforgivable sin which all religions must have. The unforgivable sin in this new religion is mediocrity. If you are, for example, the orb, and you record a 40-minute single, Blue Room, and it accidentally rockets up the charts, and so you go on top of the pops on primetime TV, and you're not sure what to do, so you play chess, that is brilliant. <laughs> if, however, your album ends up on coffee tables, and you, you, and you start hanging around with celebrities and you've got lyrics like there was snow, white snow, <laughs> then you're Coldplay. <laughs> um, extremism is encouraged in the Gospel according to Aphex Twin. Uh, like all good religions, extremism is encouraged. Uh, so Venetian Snares, one of my favourite bands, uh, they, they sound very much like a barrel of nails being rolled down a cobbled hill. I would particularly recommend their albums Cavalcade of Glee and Dada is Happy Hardcore Pom Poms, Filth, and Winnipeg is a Frozen Shithole. So, <laughs> I am here to increase my religion. I'm here to grow my religion because I had to fit it into the theme of tonight. So, <laughs> will the gospel, according to Aphex Twin, work? We will get organised. We will make Brian Eno Pope. <laughs> Electronica, it, it's dominated by a lot of the hallmarks of religion. Uh, so you've got worshippers in communal ecstasy, uh, you've got um, white middle class socially inadequate men all over the place, <laughs> and also Electronica is very good at looking down at your nose at other people, not by doing it right. So I, I would like to, I, I'd like to end with a bit of involvement, if you, if you like. This is where you become part of the religion. Um, I'd like to end with a bit of call and response, a piece of liturgy, if you like. Uh, this comes from when uh, Lady Gaga and LaRue and Lady Hawk were first getting successful. And The Guardian ran a piece uh, about um, uh, chicks with synths, and uh, that was the new thing. Uh, so I wrote a letter to James Blunt, and, uh, <laughs> suggesting that he perhaps get on the bandwagon. Um, you'll see. Uh, so uh, I'd like you to... Um, th this is serious. Th this, this is um, the call and response bit. If you can say the bits in bold, but please, can you say it loudly and clearly and with conviction? Ooh. <laughs> no! Guys. <laughs> we join together in the Gospel according to Aphex Twin. Aphex This is the first letter to James Blunt, chapter 1. Thanks be to Aphex. This is good. Don't laugh. <laughs> Dear James Blunt, you should become a chick with a synth. <laughs> you need to buy a nice shiny silver synthesizer and get it into every publicity shot you can. Please be the synthesizer. You will, of course, need to alter your gender. I once cut off the leg of a teddy bear with my dad's nose hair clippers. I'm sure changing your sex wouldn't be much different. Yes, yes to the nice. point. Thank you. With conviction, please. I pledge my all to the gospel according to Aphex Twin and His Holiness, 
Brian Eno. I will experiment. Yes, yes I, I will. will. I will embrace repetition. Yes, yes, I will. I will embrace repetition. <laughs> That's not funny. Can you not laugh, please? This is serious. This is the start. I will follow the holy order of the analog drum pad. Thumb. Thumb. That's good. And the squelchy bass line. Yow! Lead us not into maroon five. <laughs> Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This was the gospel according to Apex Twin. Thank you.